out the raging fires and the smoke. Our God and God of our fathers and mothers, as the flames burn, wreaking havoc upon our forests, our homes, our firefighters, and the animal community, and our sense of security, we turn to you for comfort and support. Help us to differentiate between flames of destruction and light that shows your way. Be with us now these smoke and fire filled days. Draw us close to those harmed by these flames. Hearing their cries, responding to their needs. Lead us to support those who fight the fires, who care for the displaced, who bring healing to the suffering. In your mercy, bring cooling wind and rain from the heavenly realms to calm the rage of these fires. And may we all embrace at least one lesson spoken aloud by so many who facing the flames rush to pack up their valuables. Memories of love and of time spent with family and friends are priceless, holy and sacred. This can never be taken away. As we rush to meet the challenge of living in this imperfect world of ours, may we slow down enough to cherish those who are truly valuable and holy to us. Amen. And now let us pray the Lord's Prayer with alternative words during this season from the New Zealand Prayer Book. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In the times of temptation and testing, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our worship service today. And thank you for continuing to support United Church in University Place in so many different ways with your gifts of service and volunteering, with your presence, with your prayers, and those who are able who continue to support with your financial gifts. And if you would like to offer an extra gift to disaster relief, um, both United Methodist Committee on Relief and the United Church of Christ Disaster Relief Ministries are already hard at work to um, combat the the suffering that the fires are causing. So I invite you to give generously. I now invite Marilyn to lead us in the prayer of dedication for our offering. Please join me in this prayer of dedication. Creator God, you are our provider. We offer all that we have and all that we are to you because we belong to you. Bless our gifts and empower us, your church, that through the work of the Spirit, we may be a refuge for those in distress, a shelter from the storm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for this time of worship. Um, please stay for the forum where we are going to be receiving um, producer and writers, Catherine Hervey um, and, and Michael um, from the prison within the documentary. Um, please stay, even if you have not had an opportunity to, to watch this documentary or not, it is so powerful and so poignant of talking about restorative justice. That will happen at 11.30. 
Um, we'll be putting our kids into a breakout room for Sunday school, and we welcome Ellen with us this morning. It's so good to see your name pop up for our worship and board meeting tomorrow night on Zoom at 6.30. If there are other announcements, please write them in the chat. And our benediction song will be Let There Be Peace on Earth. Um, 